Texas Governor Greg Abbott is slamming the United Nations after that group's leaders said Texas needs to be less dependent on oil and gas. Governor Abbott responding on Twitter saying, quote, Texas to United Nations, pound sand. The world is reeling from spiraling fuel costs caused by premature over-reliance on renewable energy. Texas oil and gas is needed right now. Here is the reaction is American Exploration and Production Council CEO Anne Bradbury. Anne, good morning to you. Good morning, Steve. Why is the UN coming after the United States? I mean, uh, China's greenhouse gas emissions exceeded all other industrial nations combined. Why isn't he saying, hey, China, you got to do more? Stop it. Right. So that's a great point. The U.S. makes up about 11 percent of global emissions, and that number is falling, and China is 7 percent and growing. So first of all, we need to be cognizant that climate change is a global issue, not a United States-specific issue. And this is also a really timely conversation as world leaders are preparing to meet in Glasgow next week at COP26 to talk about world solutions to climate change. And I think we also need to be cognizant of the world's growing demand for oil and gas and for energy in the coming decades. Today, one third of Americans struggle to pay their energy bills. Right. And around the world, there are two billion people that live without access to reliable energy. Sure. And we will never solve climate change if we are not also realistic about the world's growing demand for affordable and reliable energy. Sure. And, and so the, the U.N. guy says Texas must end its reliance on oil and gas production to remain prosperous in the era of climate change. He's talking about renewables. Texas is the number one producer of what is it? Wind power. So Texas is okay. able to do both. That's exactly right. I mean, we absolutely recognize that there is a place in the world energy mix for wind, solar, renewables, for all of the above. But I think there's a real cautionary tale to be told as we look around the world at what Governor Abbott characterizes as this premature over-reliance right. on renewables. And what you see in certain states, in the U.S., in the U.K., um, in the EU is spiking prices and right. less energy reliability sure. because of this premature over-reliance on renewables. And before you go, uh, you know, the President of the United States has said a couple of times over the last week, you know, there's nothing I can do in the short term to uh, get the price of gas down. How long is it going to be this expensive? Because it's buck more now than it was a year ago. So, you know, gas prices are a function of supply and demand. And as we come out of COVID, demand around the world is increasing as people, as the world opens up. Yep. So what this administration can and should be doing to address both gas prices, but energy prices at large is supporting domestic production. Sure. And they can do that by working with industry in a collaborative manner on regulatory process, on regulatory uh, rules that reduce emissions um, in a cost effective and common sense way. They can support infrastructure to move product to the markets where it's needed in a clean and efficient manner. They can support production on federal lands where, you know, where oil and gas right. is produced and we can also f um, oppose policies that raise taxes and fees on America's oil and gas producers. And lots of good ideas. Let's see if the administration does any of them. And thank you very much for joining us from, day, uh, from D.C. today. Thanks for having me. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.